Hello and welcome to my F122 driver grow mode here today for part 44 for the Spanish Grand Prix. We had a dramatic start to the season last time out in Australia. Here is the grid though for today's Grand Prix. And Max Verstappen in once again on pole. Next are Oscar Piastri in the Haas in B2. Then it's George and Alonso. Ocon and Perez. Sonoda and Charles Leclerc. Then it's Dictum and Albon. Sainz and Norris. Gasly and Magnussen, Joe and Brown has had an awful qualifying, Schumacher 17th, Swartzman 18th and on the back row of the grid, the two Aston Martins and the two Canadians headed by Latifi, that's the grid for the Spanish Grand Prix, let's get into the race. So we are here then, one stop strategy, starting on the mediums going over to the hards, a strategy that used to be very OP on F1 games but not anymore, but here we go then, it's a Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go once again. We've absolutely given it a boot full of the line and gone absolutely over. And we start, but we really need to get a couple of places into turn one though. Oh, that's good, but actually looks like he may have taken the lead in the house. We go down the inside there. Side by side, Magnus and he's nearly driven off the track and we've had to break very hard there. And now we may lose out to those on the outside of us. But Ashley is still going at Verstappen there, and now side by side, we're down the inside, so we're back on board with us now, and we are going to send it side, and very, very nearly in the back of that Williams there, but we've stayed ahead, we've got ahead, and now we can get after Magnussen, at the end of that one, down the inside of Magnussen, we have gone, and we're up now, and we can start to hopefully gain some more positions but further around the lap we've gone wide and put a wheel on the gravel and now Magnussen is going to try and get the inside of us we defend the inside he tries to go the long way around but he's unable to do so and now on to lap 3 and we're just just about in touch with the McLaren of Lando as we dive my way up the inside get the job done and we're up into P13 we need to do what we did in Australia and pick these cars off one by one. So we've got one McLaren, now we're on the back of the second into turn one. Copy and paste. And we're up past Gasly now, we've got both the McLarens next up. It's the Williams of Albon who's unfortunately slipped back a little bit. But all of this massive train is behind Sonoda who doesn't, doesn't have the pace in this race. And it's now Gasly's on the outside, we do what we did with him. Magnussen. So coming out to the final corner to start lap 7. He's taking us a few laps to get close enough to have a go at the Williams and now we have the DRS and the irritate button down the inside into the first corner. But we've gone deep, we've gone deep and up the inside Albon tries to go but he backs out of it. So here we go now though. This is ahead of us. Tintum and Sonoda going at it and now Sainz is just watching and learning as Tintum gets the job done on Sonoda and now this is Sainz okay, going to go to the inside we are just picking and Sainz with the popcorn as we try and get the exit up the inside we've sent Sainz to the inside now up the inside of Sonoda and we've got two cars there in two corners. Just thread the needle, bite it out time, put down the popcorn and got the job done. As Sainz goes down the inside of Sonoda. Now tries to the outside, Sonoda's holding on. And now they're gonna go side by side all the way around turn three. Is Sainz still ahead? Sonoda though, he's just hanging on round the outside. Sainz has just got his nose ahead, but Sonoda is not lying down and giving up. He now has the inside line at turn four, turn five. They're still side by side, but now half a lap now. They're still going. We're on the back of TikTok, you can see us go through there. But finally, Sonoda has to admit defeat. What a battle that was. And now going on to lap 11, we've finally got close enough to get TikTok. We've did it. In the back and giving him a puncher to the inside though and it's job done on our part 
of the past antics and the now can we get away? We've definitely got this car to get away and catch those in front. But Tickton, he's gone back about inside, but he's too far back to do anything. He's on to lap 15 now, and we are coming in to make our one and only stop of the day. We miss time to think, we're still getting used to that because you literally have to press it the second okay, you cross the pit the line. And now though, as we come out of the pits, and Alpha Tauri have done a wonder stop there. And Dan Tickton is beating us out of the pits. Not only just beating us out of the pits, though, by a mile. And now, Sainz is on, on the back of us again. There's Magnus in there. He's put himself back into the race after being behind the two McLarens who you might have just seen there in the background. But now we've got to get these tyres back up to temperature as quickly as possible. These hard tyres just don't like getting up to temperature. We make a little mistake. Sainz tried to go up our inside like we did to him earlier on in the Grand Prix. And Sainz now still coming at us to the outside. And we force him a long way off. Maybe that was a bit over, over the top there. But now, can we get back after Tickton? We always seem to have pace on hard tyres. As this is Sonoda still falling further and further back. He's side by side with Magnus and now. Sainz though, still in there. So, Sonoda has really overtaken Sainz during the stops. Magnus and his crew. His side's close enough to go up the inside. No. Sonoda shuts the door. And now Alonso currently in a great position. Going down towards turn one. And that's a huge engine failure. Alpine's reliability is still poor. After season after season. Where they have a bulletproof testing where nothing goes wrong but we get to the important bit and that Renault engine is still going off like a firework popping at every opportunity as this is Sainz finally getting Sonoda maybe that's why Sonoda so slow he's got an issue as well with that Renault engine only Alonso's was a bit more dramatic maybe that's what's going on Sainz is through and up the inside is the McLaren of Gasly and Gasly looks like he's got the job done a lot easier than Sainz did but Sonoda is not giving up he's still has the inside line and has he stayed ahead he has Gasly is still there though but he's too far back and now and this is Sergio Perez who has had an issue there a big issue and um, Mark told us and he's dropping like a stone, Tickton had overtaken him and now it's our turn to overtake him and just like we did back in Australia we are battling the Red Bull of Perez but this time it is a very very poorly Red Bull and after a lot of laps we've finally caught Tickton and we've dive bombed him at the inside but we've locked up and gone wide He's cut his back, he's done what Albon did, but unlike Albon, he is successful. This time he really overtaken us. And it took so long to get to that point. But unfortunately, we would get another chance, and this time we get ticked in before we even get to the first corner. And that took way longer than it needed to. Definitely this could have been a different race if we had of not lost out of it, stop it, this is Ocon and Piastri battling for the final position on the podium on the final lap Piastri has lost out to Ocon unless he can get the way back but this has very much been Max Verstappen's race in cruise control barely getting out of second gear he came so close to victory in Australia but he wins here in Spain and now we are going to come home for a very much another comeback drive going from P16 to P6 I'll take that OK, pick up rubber and bring it home Brilliant stuff from Red Bull today What a superb victory 
Ashley Pinkham. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we could talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So that's been your Spanish Grand Prix then and we actually got one this time if you were watching the career mode right at the start in the first season you'll know there was a glitch with the safety car so the Spanish Grand Prix wasn't really a Grand Prix. Anyway Esteban Ocon in the Alfa Tauri getting on the podium making a technically a double podium for Red Bull beating Piastri on the final lap in terms of the drivers Max is now leading from Leclerc and then Ocon and then we are P4 we've dropped down and Piastri stayed. George has also gone up after his disappointing race back in Australia. Could you record this race a bit disappointing for us? Maybe. In terms of the constructors though, we are just behind Red Bull. 15 points to gap though. There's still a long way to go this season. We're two down. There's 14 still to go. We head to the Principality next and I will see you for the Monaco Grand Prix. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.